Hey there, Python trainer Ruben Lerner here. And today we are going to talk about dummies in pandas. And I don't mean the coworkers who you really don't like. What I mean is that sometimes we have a column with a bunch of different values. One, one column that we would call a categorical column. And it would really be helpful for certain types of analysis, especially, but not only for preparing machine learning models, for me to take that one column and turn it into multiple columns. In other words, what I want to do is let's take, you know, given a categorical column, I want to get a data frame in which each column has a, uh, is named for one of the values, one of the categorical values. And the values in each of those columns, you know, resulting columns, will be true or false. So you can imagine, basically, let's do this a really simple, I'm going to say import pandas as PD. Say from pandas, import series and data frame. So if I now say S equals a series of, and we'll say here a list of A, B, C, B, C, B, C, B. All right, so I now have a series with A and B and C, and I can check how many times it appears in there, that's fine. But what I really wanna do is I want a data frame whose columns are A, B, and C, where I can find out, you know, with true false values, whether for a given index, we had a value of A, B, or C. So I can say pd.getdummies on S. And what do you know, I get back a data frame. And because my original values were A, B, and C, the columns are now named A, B, and C. And we can see that in index zero, where we had A, it's true, false, false. In index one, where we had B, we'll have false, true, false. And so we know then that only one of these columns, only one of these resulting columns will have a true value. The others will have false values, but that's exactly what we want. So can I do this for more substantive data? Absolutely, and you know, this is kind of silly, right? So I'm gonna load up here, I'm gonna say df equals pd, read CSV of my favorite taxi data. This is just under CSV. This is just under 100,000 uh, taxi rides in New York City from 2015. Not a huge data set at all, but one of the things we have in there is the payment type. And payment type, as we can see, is numeric. This is how did the person pay for the taxi ride. And if I say df, payment type dot value counts, we'll see that there are four different values they can have. And so here basically one means credit card. Let me just double check this. Yeah, one is credit card and two is cash and three is, I think it's a refund. No charge, sorry, no charge. And then four is a refund. So we can get a sense of how many people use credit cards versus cash versus were not charged at all. I'd like to be in that group, right? Or got a refund. Great, so how can I take this column and turn it into a bunch of dummies? Well, I can say PD dot get dummies on DF of payment type. And if I do that now, sure enough, I get a data frame and the columns of the data frame are one, two, three, and four because those are the values that we had in the original payment type, uh, uh, payment type uh, column. Okay, this is nice, but now it's sort of standing on its own. What if I want to Put this back into the data frame. Well, that means that I have an original data frame DF and I want to combine it with this new DF. To do that, we're going to use pd.concat. And pd.concat takes a list of data frames. So I'm going to say here DF, comma, and then the data frame we get back from get dummies. So I'm now going to say I want you to combine the original data frame DF, which contains, by the way, the payment type column with also the data frame, the four column data frame we got back from get dummies. And I do this and I get something that looks kind of strange. What's going on here? The first few columns, I'm sorry, the first few rows, if we look at them, they have all the original data from the original DF, but all the way at the end, if we look, we have NANs for one, two, three, and four, our payment types. By contrast, we have NANs everywhere else at the bottom here, except look at this, where we have the payment types. This is because by default, pd.concat tries to add them together on top of each other, but we actually want them to be joined horizontally. So I'm gonna say here, axis equals rows. Oh, actually, that's exactly what I did before here. Yeah, sorry about that, I mean, axis equals columns. I knew that, right? There we go. 
And now we end up with the data frame that we wanted with the original DF on the left. And if we scroll the way to the right, we can see then, here we go, false, true, false, false, true, false, 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 true, false, 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this is great. So I've now managed to take my original data frame, break one of the columns into a bunch of dummies, and then rejoin it together. I should note, by the way, that at no point here did I modify the original data frame. PD.concat returns a new data frame based on the inputs we gave it, in other words, DF and the get dummies call. I could, of course, assign this back to DF if I want to, but I'm not going to do that just yet. The thing is, these names, where do these names come from? Well, they come from the values. Maybe, just maybe, I want the, you know, them to be a little better named. So what I can do is I can say, um, inside of the call to get dummies, I can say here, let's do this here, comma, and then I can say prefix equals, then we can say here, payment type. So if I say payment type, what it's gonna do then is still give me one, two, three, and four, but let's see here, oops, did not mean that, uh, comma, prefix, maybe I put this, oh yeah, I put this in the wrong place, sorry about that, do, 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 do. there we go. Uh, oh, now it really doesn't like me. All right, let's see, I've gotta get the get tummy, get, get tummies, that's not exactly what I'm talking about, get dummies, DF payment type prefix is that, there we go, so there's that. Oh, I see, I see, and then I need to give it the square brackets there, and then I need to give it there, there we go. Uh, almost, 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 do, do, do. All right, so we've gotta do this, and then this, and then this. There we go, okay. Always fun to play with parentheses, right, folks? In any event, what you see then is at the end here, I have now payment type one, payment type two, payment type three, payment type four, and that works really well. Notice also that it automatically put an underscore between my prefix here, payment type, and the original name. If you want to change that, you can actually put in here prefix character, uh, prefix sep, sorry, sep, and if I say like, I don't know, uh, you know, x, kind of a dumb thing to do, but I can do that, then it will, it will do exactly what I said, payment type x1, payment type x2, and so on and so forth. I think the underscore is just fine. So this is great, but now I'm actually going to assign it there, but actually I'm gonna assign it without the prefix. You'll see in a moment why. So let's get rid of the prefix sep and the prefix name. Okay, so we've got that, we've got that, we've got that. We now should be fine. No, oh, comma. There we go. So I'm gonna assign this to DF. Now our data frame includes all of the columns, both the original payment type column and one, two, three, and four. So what if I now want to do the opposite, right? What if I want now to take those four columns and I want to get back a single column? So how am I gonna do that? Well, basically I can use PD from dummies. And PD from dummies, and I can say DF of, say here, one, two, three, four. And look at that, I get back a new series. Actually, I get back a new one column data frame. A data frame here in which each of the indexes matches the original data frames index, but the values here are collected from all the things that I had before. So where there was two, where two was true, I get two, where one was true, I get one, and so on and so forth. And I could, of course, add this back in the same way as we did before with the PD concat to the original data frame or to anywhere else I might want. All right, I hope this was a good explanation and introduction to the world of dummies, at least dummies as it happens to be in pandas, both in creating them and in getting them back, getting, you know, taking one series and turning that into a data frame of dummies, taking a data frame of dummies and getting back a single series. Let me know what you think, what questions and comments you have. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll be back really soon with lots more about Python and pandas.